Hi, today we're going to cover how to create your first widget. So we're going to go over a few different things and ways to get there and how you actually select them and get your testimonials to display on them. When you first log in, this is obviously your dashboard, you're going to go over to the left navigation bar. So there's two ways to get there. There's one, you can click on manage widgets or you can click on add widgets. Let's go to manage widgets first. Once you go to manage widgets, you're going to go to this button that says add new display widget. So you're going to click on add new display so once you're in here, you're going to click on this button, this display on your website. So uh, this option will create the website widget that will display the testimonials you choose on your website. Once you click here, you'll be taken to a screen where we have a plethora of widgets. Plenty of different styles and ways that they can all be displayed. You're going to select the widget that you feel is best for your format and your website. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this meta widget. Once you're here, it'll ask you to add the testimonials that you want to be displayed on that widget. So I'm going to click great work. Brian really helped us. Brian was a pleasure to work with. And then you're going to click continue. Once here, you can name your widget. So where are you going to place this widget on your website? Maybe you're going to create a dedicated testimonials page, or maybe it's your home page display. So you can name it wherever you think is best on your website. So let's just call this dedicated testimonials slash reviews page. Click finish. So once you're here, it says congratulations on creating your new widget. You can add the widget yourself, so you can click on this button. And this is the JavaScript code that you will be sending over to your web developer. But in the meantime, let's just click continue. And now your widget is in your widget displays. So you can actually preview it. You can edit it, or there's even advanced settings, but we'll look at those at a different time. So now you've created your website widget.